Right, I've got this um, condensing unit to uh, pump down and disconnect. Um, customers turned it off, so uh, we'll fire it up um, and get it all nice and warm. connected to is an ice bank, milk tank, uh, 7,000 litres, O3, uh, so it's about 10 year old. Um, look in the back here, I've got a little bit of ice left in there, not too much. Which is good, you don't want too much in there. Cold. I don't think that's doing a lot to be honest with you. Right, we've uh, not turned it off. Um, you turn it off when you're doing some odd before you've got the gauges on there or something, it can stop doing it when you turn it back on again. So um, you always want to catch it while it's uh, still faulty or suspect. We've got about 20 psi on the suction, 150 on the high side, it's on R404A. Now I'm, I suspect that this just isn't pumping at all, so I'm going to wind the suction in and see what that does to that. Happy is it? Um, he's going to want a new compressor. So the solenoid is shut. There's no flow in the liquid line, and this is waiting on the pressure switch, telling it that it's pumped down. Um, but the compressor is not pumping, so it's going to sit there and run. Uh, doing nothing until it either goes out on the thermal overload or uh, it might start pumping again at some point. Yeah, not happy. Right, we need this running to um, be able to pump it down, but um, the ice bank probe's buried in ice. So it's not going to run. So what I've done, I've turned the power from the wall, so this isn't going to energise because it'll then it'll burn the coil out if you power them up when they're not on a solenoid. And then we'll put the magnet on there. I'll get it running, and then we'll be able to run it out for a bit and pump it down. Right, it's been running for a few minutes now, so it's, all the oil has warmed up a bit. Bottle on the scale, scale zero. 
so we'll uh, shut the liquid line valve on the receiver and uh, while we're doing that we can be dumping liquid in here ZB, was it ZB 42 KCE single phase? It's a contact for that um, compressor. The single phase is pretty big. That's my uh, screwdriver for comparison. Uh, I think it runs around 30 amps. Plus the fans, so probably 33, 34 amps, something like that, which is just set on, yeah, 31 and a half. So, uh, it's a pretty big contactor. Right, that's all the uh, pipe work disconnected and sealed up on the tank. I've left the Power cables onto it because he's still got milk in it at the moment. Where well, you can see the line that's where it's sweating, it must be up to there. Um, I believe he's milked this morning, and that's the last milking. And then uh, this is going to be picked up sometime today. And then this afternoon's milk is thrown away, and then I think they move the goats. She's packed up milk in here. So everything's going, the milk in parlour, tank, goats, everything's all going to another farm. It's disconnected up there, disconnected here on the liquid line, hot gas there. When I return to the condenser, it's all braised up. And we've cut and sealed the two pipes into the heat recovery tank as well. Um, that's the contact box, we've disconnected that from the uh, isolator. Um, so that's ready to go really. That's about as much as we can do because he's still going to want to be able to wash it before it goes anywhere.